really weird. Um, well, oh, Caroline, you're really not prepared enough to be a YouTuber, so I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I don't know what I'm doing. Now, let's start over. Hi, I'm Caroline. <laughs> I have always wanted to make a YouTube channel since high school, and we're finally doing it. I don't know what this channel is going to be. I'm going to call it a passion project because I've just always wanted to do this. I've always loved video production, content creation, editing. Honestly, I just kind of want this to be a place where people can go to laugh and escape the real world. I actually don't know if I'm going to make you laugh, but I hope I am. Um, and if I don't, just don't watch. But let's just get right into what I'm going to do today. I... Um, I'm not like a beauty guru at all by any means. I'm just going to show you guys who's ever watching. It's probably my mom and a few friends. Thanks, guys. I'm going to do like a no makeup makeup look. That's my favorite look to do for every day. I like how it's simple and dewy. We love a little do. Um, SPF is really important. I never used to be a big SPF person, but you've probably heard this all the time. SPF, SPF, da, 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 da. So I started to wear it. I use Glow Screen from Supergoop. It's SPF 40. I really like it because it gives that pearly glow. I'm just trying to focus this guy. I don't think it's going to work. Okay. Is this what they do? Oh, look at that. I like it because it's like a pearlescent glow. And I just rub it all over with my hands. Oh, basically a lot of my makeup I do also is with my hands. So wash your hands before you put on makeup. I did because that's important. And I just rub it all over. And as you can see, I actually have no idea if you can see. I actually also have very red, a red face. It's just looking more red on here. Mm, I don't like that. It's kind of given that luminosity, pearly, dewy look that we're striving for in this video, okay? Everyday makeup, dewy, glowy look. Awesome. Then I go in with, I'm actually featuring a lot of Glossier products in this. I used to be a big Glossier girl and I guess I still am. I really like their products just because they really are that like no makeup makeup look, you know? So I like it for that reason. This is the Perfecting Skin Tint. I use the shade G8. It's a squeeze bottle. So I just literally like draw it on my face like this. Blend it all in, lovely. It really does just give you that like lit from within glow and just kind of evens your skin tone. Cause I really don't have even skin tone. Um, I have red cheeks and whatnot. So I love this just for that very light. I honestly feel like I'm not wearing any makeup at all. Um, and it just gives that little dewy glow. So we like that. I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. Then I go in with concealer. I use more Glossier product. Hello. Stretch concealer in shade G9. No brush needed. I just heard everywhere to use your ring finger. It's apparently what the most sensitive, softest ring finger on your hand. I don't know. I just do what people tell me to do sometimes. So I just dab it on underneath my eyes. And this is another way to just brighten up the eyes and also cover any dark circles. It's really not covering up too much. It's not heavy at all. It's very, what do they say, breathable? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Just very breathable. And honestly, I usually just do it under the eyes because I don't feel like doing anything else. Sometimes I get lazy with that. So then what I do do with this though, because it is so, sh um, what's the word? Dewy? Cheer? I don't know. I <laughs> do like to go in with translucent powder. I use the Laura Mercier one. I'm sure you've seen everyone using. And I just take like a, guys, I'm really not a pro. I just take, it's, I think it's an eyeshadow brush. Yeah, it's, it literally says large shadow on it. And I just dab it in, tap off the excess and like dab it under my eyes just to make that set. Otherwise, cause since it's so sheer and shiny I like to make that a little more matte but overall I do like to keep the the shiny face so I don't really put that to like anywhere else really sometimes I'll do around the nose if I'm feeling crazy and then the t-zone area but 
we're not gonna do that today. Then, what do I do next? Oh, my favorite part. Actually, not really, but it's one of them. We're gonna do bronzer. Love a bronzer. We're gonna go in with Benefit Hula bronzer, and I use the Hourglass. No. Okay. Whatever. It's just number two. Swirl in. Tap off excess and just... I don't really contour my face and do the whole like, everyone does the whole like three thing. Uh, I'm too lazy to do that and whatever. So I just kind of do it on the cheekbones like this. And I do a little more over here. So just on the hairline, like so. See, and then you just get that like bronzy. Can you even tell? I don't know. That's that, bronzer, check. Next up, also the order I think I do this in is probably not right. Like I said, not a pro, not a pro. Highlighter, I have so many highlighters, but the one I'm just honestly trying to use up at this point is the Dandelion Twinkle from Benefit. I use the Fenty Beauty Highlight Brush, and um, I like it because it has that angled edge to it so it's perfect for hitting the cheekbones and then I just apply it to the cheekbones and then I'll do a little down the nose oh a little cupid bow action is pretty fun too I don't think you can see any of what I'm doing what am I gonna do next oh blush yay love blush okay I use the Glossier cloud paint in beam this is like a corally color it looks very natural and what i love about cream blushes as opposed to powder blushes is that i feel like they rather than sitting on your skin i feel like they more they look like they're peeking out from under your foundation and everything if that makes sense so i dab a little on my fingertips do it put them together and just rub it around and then i like a little smile oh i forgot my favorite part i like to do a little bit on the nose the middle of the nose because it really gives that like sun kissed look do you know what i mean when it's like you got a little sunburn on your nose i think it's kind of cute but i just do it on like the bridge in the middle is that too much yeah i think so we're just gonna keep it whatever now we're gonna go into the eyebrows i'm just going in with i'm sure you always heard this one too it's a big fan favorite the glossier boy brow i use blonde and i love the boy brow because it really fills it in nicely without being so drawn on and just keeps it looking natural but more full which i really like so and it's really easy to apply i just brush it on through good to go love that then i'm gonna go in and do setting spray spare minerals do mist setting spray <coughs> i just <coughs> I, know, I just got something in my mouth. Okay, iced tea break. Now we're gonna go in with an eyelash curler. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna poke my eye out and also rip out all my eyelashes when I do it. Ow, I'm a little too close, but beauty is pain, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Then we're gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury mascara. I'm a big mascara girl, like I really load this stuff on. We're gonna load it on. Load it on. Load this stuff on. Okay, I can't really see what I'm doing. Get the bottom ones. We're like done. Oh, last thing, can't forget to do a little lip. And this is Buxom in Pink Lady. I really like Buxom lip glosses. It's really, really light pink. I'll do a close up for you. Wow, this is pretty good quality. So this is my no makeup makeup glowy dewy everyday look so like comment subscribe i'm kidding you really don't need to do that i mean if you want you can but it's these people are texting me i'm so popular thanks for joining me this channel is not going to be all beauty stuff i don't know what it's going to be yet but just stick around for a fun time okay bye how do i turn this thing off